so today I'm here for a very quick video just to show my children's stocking stuffers. So usually this is a video I do every year, and this year I'm super late. I know we're like five days out to Christmas um, as of today. I don't know if I'll be able to post this till tomorrow, so we may only be four days out. But if you need some last minute stocking stuffer ideas, go ahead and keep watching. I have a five-year-old boy, he turned five in August, and I have a one-year-old little girl. She just turned one um, on the 14th of this month. So on Christmas, it'll be 10, or on Christmas Eve, it'll be 10 days after her birthday. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing. My five-year-old is getting a little bit more in his stocking than my one-year-old just because my one-year-old still doesn't really understand what's going on and she, um, you know, just got a lot of gifts for her birthday so there just wasn't quite as much that I could get for her plus she only has like four teeth so she can't eat candy and all that yet so it's not that I'm trying to favor my five-year-old or be unfair or anything so um, I just wanted to put that out there, but hopefully this gives you some ideas and hopefully you enjoy. So the first thing that is going in my son's stocking, and I don't know if this will fit, so it may have to like sit under the stocking just in front of the fireplace, is these Leapfrog books. This is a two pack of books. It's the Toy Story 4 and the Pixar book. So it's a math and then um, a reading how things work book kindergarten through first grade level he's kindergarten so I thought these would be perfect he loves his leapfrog little book game thing um so just a couple new books for that which we found these super cheap at Burlington so it was kind of one of those things we didn't plan on putting in his stocking but then we couldn't pass it up because it was like half the price of what they are on Amazon the next thing that he is getting is some bubble bath so my one-year-old was supposed to get one of these two and we'll probably go back and get another one or put it in our grocery pickup order but hers we had them stored in a plastic tub and it fell over somehow and totally spilled out and exploded so she had the purple one um i think it was like grape or something like that and his is the berry blast so they are each gonna get one of these i only have one to show right now because like i said we have to replace hers that spilled everywhere um, so they are each getting a bubble bath. They love taking bubble baths, so that will be fun. And then the next thing my five-year-old's getting in his stocking is one of these trolley um, candy canes. He's gotten one of these for the past couple years, and he loves these candies. Plus, he likes that it looks like troll hair on the top. So he will be getting one of these, and I know he will love it. The next thing is these trolley sour bites. He loves these too, just anything sour, gummy, sour patch kids, anything like that. He loves, so I know he's going to like these. And then just a couple Haribos. So we have gold bears that are Christmas colored, they're red and green. And then we have um, some candy cane gummies that are cherry, sugar plum, and um, candy apple flavor. So I think he'll really enjoy those. He loves gummy bears. And then the next thing are just some things he needs. So first we have some chapstick. This is a three pack of strawberry chapstick. We have some socks. So these are just a pack of Marvel socks. So it's got like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, Black Panther, and he's going to love these because they're grippy socks. So these are from Walmart. Um, he loves grippy socks and we have hardwood floors. So these are like an absolute must have for him. And he's also getting Paw Patrol, the same grippy socks. So um, these are just six pack of socks from the Walmart um, toddler department because he has small feet. So he still wears like a 3T to 5T sock. And then the next thing is a toothbrush. So we always do dental care stuff in our stockings. I don't know why. It's just something we do every year. So he's getting this Star Wars Mandalorian that has little Grogu on it or Baby Yoda as some people call him but his name's Grogu. Anyway, he is getting that. And then the next thing is these bath crayons. So we have some bath paint and stuff like that. And I think actually both kids are gonna love these. It's gonna go in his stocking, but I think either kid will play with these. I think they'll be super fun. I think the last thing, oh, there's a couple more things. Um, next is this Ryan's mystery bath bomb. So it's like a bath bomb that has a little surprise inside of it. And then a Trolls hand sanitizer. So can't ever have enough hand sanitizer with everything right now, especially. And then the last thing, this is kind of a joke, but just some little coal candy. So we kept telling him this year, like, don't be bad. Don't be mean to your sister, all that stuff. 
um, cause you'll get coal in your stocking. So he's just getting this little pack of coal. And like I said, it's just kind of a joke. So now we're going to move on to my one-year-old's stocking. The first thing my one-year-old is getting in her stocking is this cute little Eric Carl book. So it's just thanks from the hungry, the very hungry caterpillar. So this is just a super cute little book. The next thing she is getting is these plum teensy snacks. They're just like little mini fruit snacks in berry. The next thing she's getting, hopefully these fit in the stocking. I didn't realize the bag was going to be this big, but I just typed in baby snacks on the Target app and I added these to the order. So I don't know anything about these, but we're going to try them. So they're just peanut butter puffs. Um, yeah. I don't know. Supposedly they're a baby snack, but I know she loves peanut butter, so hopefully these will be a hit. And we have these Earth's Best organic strawberry bars. So they're like Nutri-Grain bars, um, just little bars for toddlers. They're a little bit smaller than Nutri-Grain. Then the next thing we have for her is some arrowroot biscuits. And then we have, like I said, we always do dental care. So we have a little baby toothbrush. This is for zero to three years. Baby toothbrush and training toothpaste is just Winnie the Pooh. So she'll be getting that. And then we have some hair bows. So these are all, all these bows are from Walmart. So the first set looks like this and all of the bows that we got are clips because she pulls headbands out and her bangs are getting so long they're starting to get towards her eyes. So we're using a lot of clips now. So we have these gimme um, set of four clip. And then the next ones are these Wonder Nation set of four. I love the colors of these. They look kind of fallish, but I just think they're cute and like not too bright, kind of more neutral, really pretty. So I love those. And then we have these little tiny knot bows that have like some little shimmery polka dots on them. So these are super cute. And then just some more kind of neutral, not too bright. Um, this is another pack of Wonder Nation bows. So I'm really excited about all these. Each one of these was like less than $3. So that's, I feel like a really good price for bows. Um, so she's getting all of those. And then there are two little bath toys. Um, there is a Skip Hop Light Up Unicorn bath toy that she's getting that we're waiting on from Amazon. And then Skip Hop little pour buckets for the bath too. So she'll get those too. So that is it this year for the stocking stuffers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will talk to you next time.